Today we are in Canada. Specifically, we are in Vancouver and we're about to go to the Vancouver Aquarium. Located in Stanley Park, the Vancouver Aquarium was opened in 1956 and has become the largest aquarium in Canada, as well as one of the largest in North America. Greeted by a fishing boat filled with plastic buoys and a humanoid sculpture made entirely of discarded fishing nets, it is apparent that the threats of plastic pollution will be visible in every corner of the aquarium. Broken down into three main sections, the tropics, Pacific Canada, and the British Columbia Wild Coast, I decided to spend my time at the aquarium in Pacific Canada, where I was greeted by the side of ocean trash and the beauty of one of my favorite creatures on Earth, the jellyfish. Intertwining their mission of plastic pollution education with the awe and calming beauty of jellyfish was an excellent choice, as jellyfish play a vital role for researchers in determining the health of ocean ecosystems. Rises in ocean temperatures and acidification lead to an increase in the population of certain species of jellyfish. Keeping track of smacks such as this one can give researchers enormous amounts of data on the health of the overall ecosystem. Species like these moon jellyfish are fairly easy to study, as their natural habitat is very close to the ocean's surface. While moon jellies are common throughout the world, other species are far more invasive. The Spotted Jellyfish Being another shallow water species of jelly, it is theorized the spotted jelly has invaded many parts of the world due to human action. While many jelly species look fairly plain, although I still love them, many others can be absolutely dazzling. While not a true jellyfish, the flower hat jelly is truly a sight to behold. When not in use, it will retract its tentacles into the rim of its bell. When jellyfish are found in groups, they are referred to as smacks. This is perhaps my favorite word for describing any group of animal. So I don't know if you've been able to tell yet, but I absolutely love jellyfish. They're one of my favorite animals on earth, and every time I'm at a place that has them on exhibit, I tend to try and find them. And you succeeded at finding them. But the fun cannot last forever, and soon I was reminded of why places like the Vancouver Aquarium are important for public education. These are living jellyfish, a source of food commonly consumed by sea turtles around the world. And these are clear plastic bags. Although they have been made to look more like jellies, it is obvious how dangerous they can be when mistakenly eaten by creatures of the sea. Currently, the Vancouver Aquarium has an exhibit showcasing a large selection of plastic items that have been retrieved from the ocean, oftentimes older than you would think. Items like tennis balls, plastic light bulbs, and hairbrushes will find their way to the ocean and never break down. In rare instances, certain species of ocean life have been able to adapt in unique ways to humanity's negligence. These artificial reefs are crafted out of Legos, and these jellyfish have been placed with plastic bottles in their exhibits. Although these plastics are considered safe for these enclosures, no plastic is good for the ocean. I enjoyed my time with the jellies at the aquarium, and I learned a great deal about the issues that our oceans are facing. I hope you learned something with me, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to learn more about what is being done to combat plastic pollution, visit OceanWise at ocean.org. Link is in the description.